Hi guys, this is Wences and now I want to talk to you about persuasion skills and that we should not overestimate them. For INFJ specifically, there's always this notion that we want people to like us or to understand where we're coming from. This has more to do with TI than actually FE because we want to, we have a certain system in our head. This is how I do those things. Like this is why I did this thing. This is why I think like that. And we want to make people understand this. And so when you get in sometimes in situations where you have people who do not want to understand you, they do not like, they don't like the way you put out your energy. They don't like the way you talk. They don't like your thoughts because they're completely different and they have their ego problems or whatever they're going through and they will not listen to you. And what we tend to do very often is stay there too long trying to persuade that other person of this is my thought process can you not understand this and this is something i do to this day like i had a situation like this last week this is why i wanted to talk about it because it has happened so many times in the past it's, it's gotten of course a lot better i have stayed in situations where I just wanted people to understand, listen, I'm not a bad person. This is my thought process. This is how I see this thing. Please accept that. Please, 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 you know, I want you to understand me in a way. That's just like, you not need to pe make people understand you somehow. Sometimes it's important to understand, well, okay, that person doesn't understand me. I'm worth enough, I know myself well enough to know that this is how I see life, this is how I'm going to experience life for the rest of my life because of course we evolve but everything we experience, every rejection we experience, every joy we experience, every single thing that happens throughout our life happens within us. We, we perceive the situations the way we are and so we have to work with what we have and this is how other people have to work with their stuff so if you have like a person who's very emotional right and i want that person to kind of like see everything from my perspective and so on it's not even that good for that person because they have to deal with a lot more emotions than you they're maybe not able to just completely separate and detach think of a situation like this they have to figure it out on their way because no matter how much you feel you can understand that person, you're not that person. That person has a, a specific way of seeing life and there's no way we can exactly know how that person is perceiving life. And they should figure it out on themselves, for themselves. So one of uh, the great things that helped me to move on from situations and not get stuck in situations that are not bringing anybody anything was to accept that I don't have to persuade people and my persuasion skills are not that strong like there's a limit to that because I always thought there's no limit in my persuasion skills there's no you know if I have to then I can do it I always thought like this and in a way to make people understand well I'm a good person I meant it well and so on and it's gotten me to such a point where it just I just had to change something because it I stayed in situations that were so draining, that person didn't want, didn't want, didn't want to understand me and I just thought I had to prove that to myself. I had to prove that that person understands who I am, where I come from, because that would give me enough uh, like validation of who I am. And I also see it with other types, like one of my friends, she's an ISFP and she gets herself in situations that are physically draining like she has a job where she works at night she has situations where she has to stay up at night she gets into situations where she has to like stick up for for people in a way that just physically very very challenging like situations i wouldn't be able to where i would have said after two hours listen i cannot do this but for her it's it's the same way she has like some kind of intuition it's gonna work if i put on some energy out of it you know like all this second function se is so important to her to get like validation from others that she's like she she's doing that and it's so important to understand, no, there are limits to that. And you cannot persuade everybody and you cannot stay awake for five days if you have to, you know, or 10 or whatever. Like, I don't, you know, I don't even put a limit there, but there's limit to all those things. And for me, realizing that has helped me to just say, well, that's not for me. I'll just keep going. So if I have coworkers who do not understand where I'm coming from, I just like, 
leave them and do their thing. I don't try to persuade them. I don't try. I don't even get upset about it no more because there's an acceptance in me that says it's okay. Like I don't need to persuade that. And if that person doesn't really want to get it, the sooner you back off, the better. Stop trying to prove to yourself that you're worth something by persuading others. Your persuasion skills are not that strong. I mean, they're strong in comparison maybe to other people, but you're not limitless. You're not like there's always a limit to everything and you have to put it in perspective. Why is it so necessary for you to persuade that one person? If you know who you are, if you know what you want to do, then you don't need that one person to validate you. You know what you're doing. Rather go out and look for people who think like you. Look out for more people who share your thoughts. You don't have to be proven right by or that you're okay by that one person. And so it is a mindset that can be trained as well. And um, I have, as I said, I've trained it as well, but it still happened to me. Like I tried to persuade a coworker like last week of something like for the second time. And I hadn't even realized it, but you know, when I say I tried to persuade that person, I meant like I tried to persuade that person for two minutes. You know, it's gotten to a point where like I used to have months of trying to prove to that person who I am and why I see those things. Now it's gotten back to like two minutes. And after like the second time of two minutes, I thought, well, right, I don't need to have a connection with that person. I don't, I can stay distant to that person. It's okay. We can both coexist. I don't need to have like a friendship there. It's okay. Like I just need to keep it professional. And once I did that, it really shifts a lot of things. And sometimes when you don't have like beliefs set in yet, like let's say you are not at a point where you feel like, well, I feel self-worthy without having other people's validation. Sometimes you have to do it the other way around. So you just say, well, okay, then I'm just gonna not go and, and, and get that um, <clears throat> validation through that person, which means I feel worthless. And that's the first step, like being okay with saying, okay, well, then this is it. I, I'm not getting that uh, validation from that person, then I'm going to feel bad. going to feel bad, you're going to go through the pain, you're going to be okay with it. And then you realize, yes, from the actual, from my current view of life, from my current view of myself, I'm worthless. Because apparently, I don't feel like worthy right now. Accept that. Be okay with it lay in that pain for a while and then like you don't need to like once you lose you don't need to have that validation anymore and you get it through other stuff because you know some people get validation because they think they look good other get validation because they're powerful other things because they're nice and the list goes on and on and it's it's not necessary to say well okay i need to prove my self-worth because i'm limitless in persuasion skills and being nice to people and so on you know, it doesn't have to be that way. You can get your self-worth by, you know, doing more things that make you feel good about who you actually are, what is important to you, what you're going to do anyways. And the more and more you do that, the easier it gets. But it is, it is, as I said, like always, it's a matter of habit, it's a matter of practice. But, you know, once you have like those thoughts in your head and you kind of like, like get into this fear, it gets easier and easier because you, by proactively putting more stuff in your life that validates who you want to be and how you feel about it, the less you need, you know, those people who do not understand you, validate you, and the less you need to pretend you're something else. So be disciplined, be motivated to go in that direction and you'll see differences, you'll see how you change and it really works. It really works and, and the best part is you have control over everything. It's not like an external thing when you say, well, I'll go on vacation and then I feel better better because once you get home it's the same thing over and over again it's a mental thing you change your world by getting more and more people into your life that validate you for who you want to be and you know there are people who say well this is not you know this is just you want you don't want people who are all like yes sayers around you this is not what i'm asking i don't want you to have people around you who say yes to everything you do i'm saying like it's okay for people to not like you and to cut them out. You know, don't just look for people that you normally think like self-conscious and negative and, and just look for somebody 
who like governs them. Like you know, if you look like at all those like really radical parties or so on, where they like really win their people over because you you know the leaders are blaming others and they're saying, well, your life sucks because that person uh, is taking all your jobs and all that stuff. Like this is always working into a mentality where you say others are responsible for your happiness and then you have like this leader who gives you validation for being this way. This is not what this is about. It's not about getting people who uh, help you to be to to make others like responsible for your problems or so on. More and more you understand for yourself, this is what I have to do in order to feel good about myself and I will get more and more people into my life who share similar thoughts, who also profit from having that positivity in their life. Like all those things like I talk about here, they're not just INFJ related. You know, that's just people who are who value self-growth, who value all those things. And there are a lot of people, probably most people, who just don't care. Who just don't care, who are okay with their level of living and so on. And there's no reason for me to have that kind of people all around me all the time when it's not necessary. Like a lot of people I've just like let go because there's nothing I can give them and there's nothing they can give me. So why have this connection? And so it is an evolution in a way. You create yourself more and more into that direction and it is possible. So stick with it and you'll see what a big difference that makes. If you have like stories where you've uh, gone through similar situations where you've come like out much more positive and you've gone through all those changes and you've had like these great experiences, please share them below so others can see that they're not alone, that there are more uh, like positive stories where things have worked out. And I really, really want this to be like a platform where we can all just help each other to help oneself. Like we're all there, but in the end, everybody's doing the work on themselves. And I, I, you know, I talk to people every day. I read people's comments and I see how this is really helping. So if you have like positive stories, please share them below. I always appreciate your comments. Thank you for liking the videos and yeah, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.